How I cleared it speed it. This game, PB, is I've not finished the game. This game is apparently 200 hours. I have played for wait, let me check. I can check this. We've played for less than 10 hours. <laughs> so we have about 10 times 20 times as much left, which scares me a little bit. Uh, perhaps maybe at the rate of how I murder people, we will be done a little bit sooner than 200 hours, but then also be mindful that I'm kind of like the slowest person playing at all times. Wait, does stuff look weird? Wait, 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 wait. Does stuff look weird or is it just me? I'm looking at this dream preview. Does stuff look pixely? The, I don't know, does it? I'm checking. No, it doesn't. It looks fine. It's just my computer. Yeah, everything was like squares for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why it was squares, but... OBS can be weird sometimes. Uh, Alright, we're gonna load into the game. I hope you're all doing good, by the way. I'm super comfy today. I uh, have not washed my hair. I am wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And... Uh, that's it. Hey, Rare, how are you? Okay, uh, just an update on what we did yesterday. <laughs> um, some um, war crimes were committed yesterday. Uh, if you want a list of my evil deeds from yesterday, we did find a sacred god deer and we murdered it. We didn't murder it per se. So, uh, we came to the Dalish Elves land, the land of the Dalish land, the land of the Dalish Elves, and they, um, uh, they, what did they do? We wanted, we wanted them to rejoin our cause for the blight. Sorry, my bra brain just died a little bit. Uh, they wanted we wanted them to join our cause for the blight and a, there was they, they were plagued by like a werewolf thing so they were like we, you gotta fix the werewolf situation or you, we won't join your cause basically and then they had these god deers that were inflicted by <sighs> some kind of disease from the werewolves and there was one deer that the lady was like i don't know if this deer is sick or not can you take a look and i'm like yeah i'm an expert with deer which i'm not and so i looked at the deer i like petted its head a bit and then <laughs> i just said yeah it's sick you gotta put it down and then she did and it was horrible and chad told me that the deer was actually not sick it was perfectly healthy so we killed the deer for nothing but good news is it gave us a sacred hala is the deer's name horn amulet which i guess is good uh, then we played for like five hours, fixing the entire werewolf plague. Everything was well, and we um, lifted the curse that made people werewolves. It took us a really long time, and then when the curse was lifted and the people were like, Oh, we're so happy, we're free now. I said, better pay up. But of course they were werewolves, so they didn't have any money, um, so I just killed all of them for fun so that's what we've been doing i have to say like i feel a little bit i, w I wanted to bring this up i don't know how, how to um approach this so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna speak my mind whenever there are games like this with beautiful characters like with like morrigan who wears or well, i'm just zooming in on her boobs but uh <laughs> with beautiful characters who wear maybe like slightly revealing clothes i know a lot of people in chat do stuff like this like say mmm side boob and it makes me uncomfortable because like while these are this is polygons <laughs> this is not a real person uh, I don't know would you do that to a real person like it makes me a little bit uncomfortable because if I were sitting in this shirt I wouldn't want people to come up and be like mmm side boob ooh like I joke a lot about her shirt because I have no idea how it stays put makes no sense to me but i i feel a little bit uncomfortable when people like overly sexualize characters in games around me because i feel like would you do that to 
if a streamer was sitting in that same outfit, would you do that to them too? Because that's not cool. Um, so I don't know. I don't think it's cool to do it to characters either. I know it's just, I know they're not real. <laughs> I know they're not real and I know I've murdered most of them, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit, uh, it makes me a bit uncomfortable. I feel like it's a bit creepy, but I, I think I'm the one who's might be uh, in the wrong here as well. I don't know because like I can be like, oh, that look at her, look at her shirt. It's so pretty shirt. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Do you, <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind here. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. All I know is sometimes people get a bit, like especially when we play Witcher, people get a little bit too over the top with it and it makes me feel a little bit bad because especially with Kira, which is a woman who always wears a very low cut shirt and you can see her nipples uh, because it's very, very low cut. Um, people always get very like <laughs> very um I, I don't have a better word than creepy around it <laughs> and i think this is a bit odd so i prefer if you don't do it i don't think it's like i don't think it's anything technically bad about it it just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable with a streaming medium when i like i don't know that was a long rant i'm sorry sometimes i just talk and like, if you think I'm being totally ridiculous, you can tell me and we can discuss it. Uh, I don't know if I'm right. My cat is yelling at me from the other side of the door. I don't think you can be right or wrong. Stina, stop. Did you, do you hear her? I don't know. What she, I'm gonna put her in. Here you go. You wanna come in? Okay. You can be in or out. You can't be both. Hey, Radar. What's up? So yeah, awkward conversation over. Uh, that's just what I'm gonna say. I think I think someone put it really well on Twitter sometime who was like, even though someone is wearing something um, very revealing, it's not always... Uh, it's not all... Uh, what was awkward? <laughs> I just had a long... Uh, I don't know if it was a rant. I guess it was a rant because uh, I I always feel weird. This <laughs> this game has a woman with ignore her hat. Okay, she has a very low cut, very revealing top, which is very cool. Uh, I don't know how it stays stuck. I think she will use a lot of tape. But whenever um, there are games and the f women characters are wearing re very revealing things, people will come in and be like booba <laughs> or like oh my god she's so short her booba i just i'm just waiting for a nip slip uh and i don't know it makes me a little bit uncomfortable i know they're not i know she's not real i know she's not doesn't care because she's not a real person but it still makes me a little bit uncomfortable because i don't feel like you would say that about a real person uh but yeah I think I think it's fine to sexualize fictional characters. I think it's just it makes me uncomfortable. Like I, I don't think it would make me uncomfortable if we were sitting on like uh, a couch together and playing the game. I think then we all would be like boobies, woo. But I think it is. Um, I think it's more that because. I feel uncomfortable when people come, sometimes people come in randomly and like sexualize me on stream, even if I'm wearing like this and my baggy sweatpants. And I, I think it's like, I know it's not the same thing. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. For real, wearing stuff like that, you need safety measures. Yeah, I, I don't know what you would do. Uh, I, you definitely need to tape it stuck. Uh... I, uh, yeah, tape definitely. I don't really know how you would do it. Sorry for the rant. I I just wanted to speak my mind, and as always, you can tell me if you think I'm being ridiculous or wrong. Sometimes I can I can be a little bit sensitive with these topics. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. I think maybe I get uh, too attached to fictional characters as well. Uh, that I'm like. Desire. Morrigan is my friend, okay? Stop being creepy. Stop being creepy about my friend, okay? I love her. 
<laughs> Maybe it's because of that. <laughs> I don't know. Dagger, I don't need that. That's the beautiful thing about games, you can you wear unrealistically revealing clothes. Oh yeah, can we talk about a thing? They're adding back... Um, so, there used to be a lot of revealing transmogs in World of Warcraft, and then they kind of stopped doing it, but now they're adding back, they're doing a literal uh, chainmail bikini uh, armor that you can wear in World of Warcraft, and the best thing is it works for men too. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I, I, I think they, they should do it for men too as well. Men should also be able to wear chainmail bikinis. I feel, I feel like this guy... He'd definitely wear a chainmail bikini. <laughs> um, ooh, what's, what do we, what do we have here? Delighted. I hate. Sorry, Tamlin is giving me the ick. My own ca main character is giving me the ick. I don't like the way he says delighted. As you desire. I don't. I don't like him that much at all. I think it maybe is because of all the murders he's committed, but I can't be sure. How do I get out of here? There's a new set that keeps the female option for male too. Yes. I want to wear a male bralette as well. You baby developers. Exactly. I think that's all everyone wants. We would just we just want whatever the women can wear, the men should wear too. How do I get out of here? It has to be How is the upper level ruins? How do I Okay, I'm very confused. Yeah, that is true, Moon. My um, my follower in Elder Scrolls Online, uh, what is his name? I forgot his name, Moon. He is, uh, you know, the companion, the guy. I forgot. It's something on J, I think. Oh my god, I forgot his name. That's so rude. He's wearing a. We're wearing matching skimpy outfits, and I love it. Oh no, you didn't do anything, rare. Don't worry, and 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 and. Uh, don't, don't worry about it at all. It's just me, like, sometimes I get weird. Sometimes I get weird and I just feel like I need to talk about it because otherwise I think it's bad to keep things inside. So I talk about it sometimes. I'm very good at keeping things deep inside too. But I'm trying to be better at it and I don't mind, like, I, I don't think any of us are right or wrong. We are all just weird human blobs with ridiculous feelings playing a game where i murder dogs so <laughs> we're, we're all good don't worry yes yeah, sebastian why did i say j i wanted it to be janard which is a very weird name and i don't know why i wanted his name to be janard and uh, i'm gonna go to my no oh oh oh, oh. where's my camp ah here i want to go to my camp but what? What? What are you he freaking telling me about? Okay, everyone is over here. Perfect. Why is my cat? Why is she still yelling? Sorry. You know? Wait. Okay, I don't know. Stop killing dogs. I'm trying. I was thinking. I was talking to my cat earlier. <laughs> As you do. And I, I told her... We, we won't kill any cats in this paper. No cats. I'm gonna sell some stuff. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Can you buy all of my trash? Oh. Oh, wait, let's first sell I'm all sure of my trash. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. I love a good discount. Okay, now here's the problem. What am I gonna sell? The diamond... The silver chalice, the amethyst, th these just se seem to be, these don't seem to be something you would use. Uh, chain mail I can sell, these I can keep. This one's pretty good. This one's better than what I have. No? Maybe? Spirit crystal. Well, that's cool. The axe I can sell. There are some ruins. This one's really good. Green nature solve. I don't want any stupid nature solve. Topaz. My inventory is so full. Uh, this you can have. You can have the chantry robes. Why? I don't know why I have a chastity belt. 
<laughs> I tried giving it to Alistair. He didn't want it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, this was pretty good. Mud Idol. Are you implying they're killing cats in the previous? No, no, absolutely not. I just meant I definitely won't do it here. Dalish boots, rough. I don't know. Also have a fat loot. Oath keeper, this one's good. Keep it. Sell that. Scale boots, long sword, heavy chain mail. I think I can get rid of that too. Ice crystal, spirit chart. Use a crystal and use to swamp it. Nah. I'm not like there are a bunch of things that do give you a boost to like nature resistance and stuff. I know I'm not gonna use it because I I'm just too lazy. I never use stuff like that. It's really bad. Like if you wanna min-max and stuff, you probably should. But I oh death root. I wanna keep that, I think. Hmm. Oh posture, thank you. I was sitting like this. <laughs> Uh, it's it's Turf Friday, by the way. I hope you have a good Turf Friday. Blank Vellum. I'll I'll sell it. I hope you're doing very good. Frozen Lightning, Acid Flask. I'm selling so many things. Demonic Icker can be made into a potent poison. I don't want poison. I don't know how you equip the crystals. Okay, but this is good. I think I think I think this is fine. I think we have a fine amount of things now. It's good enough. Uh, I just want to check if he has another bad pack. He does. Oh, sorry. Very excited. <laughs> I need I need I need to carry I need to be able to carry a bunch of stuff. Okay, what is a protective cone? Oh, this is just more gifts. No, I'm not picking up more gifts. No one wants them. And uh, yeah, sugar cake. Oh my gosh. A thoughtful gift? I kind of want to get... Just give me like... I'm giving sugar cake to everyone. Oh, Warhammer lore is awesome. I don't know that much, but from what I know, it's great. Oh, thank you. Oh, That's he likes very it. Very nice. Do you want the sugar cake? Interesting. I I am bribing everyone Why, with cookies so because they get really mad when I murder people. They get like minus ten and stuff. So that's why I need to bribe them with sugar cookies a lot. It uh, it helps. Okay, now we can just talk to them a little bit. Oh no, I wanted to talk to the dwarf. I await I your command. I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still- No, she doesn't like when I ask that. She gets really mad. Okay, I won't talk to you. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. So what's your story exactly, Persuade? Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. Hmm. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Lost glory? Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thados, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone of Darmalin that the entire city sparkled. The Darkspawn took it all, of course. One by one, the old tigers fell, and then all that was left was Orzammar. Do you hear my PC, by the way? Up here, weren't we? One it's day, being a bit loud. A noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. 
Hmm. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's I love corpse. that he's doing the voice. <laughs> she had on the spot, of course. No balls. They're touchy like that. Did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. <laughs> you see, I, I've been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads. For okay, so he's not super the lost good. Tags. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Is it having trouble running a 13 years old game? I don't know. It's just like the fans are really honest. Like, is what it sounds like. Um, also, I wanted to say, Raider, have you seen there's a cool YouTube thing for Warhammer 40k? Uh, it's like a fan made show thing, and I can't remember where it is, but if Cucumber comes by, he knows what it's called, and I forgot. We can ask him. Uh, isn't that stealing? Well, no, no. Our evil, I forgot. Better to do something with them than to leave them rot. That's exactly how I see it. Yeah. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Ah. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. So you're kind of on the run. I see. Fascinating story. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now... Is there anything the boy or I can get you? Enchantment. Uh, you didn't mention your son in your tale? Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here. I found him in the deep Aww. roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. He may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. That's we nice. left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Wait, so you got a free helper? <laughs> <laughs> Better than him living in mud and hiding from dark spawn and deep stalkers, isn't it? I was glad to take him in. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural working with enchantments. He might have even been Lyria Maddled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> he love well, it. He does seem to enjoy it, at least. Okay. Uh... Of course. Good fortune to you and yours. I want to. I want to get enchantment. Enchantment? Yes. Enchantment! Uh, can we enchant this one? Spell resistant? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Enchantment. Hey, Larry. <laughs> we haven't killed any deer yet. I want to talk to Alistair. Something on your mind? I have some questions. Of course. No, actually, I don't. So, when can I romance people? <laughs> Not now. Okay, I guess we, uh, I, I suppose not now. I guess we just head on. I'm gonna bring myself, I'm gonna bring my Alistair. Yes. Oops. Morrigan Indeed. and... Indeed. I had a question. What do you think, Chad? Should we switch out Liliana for Sten? Sten? She isn't really... I feel like she's not doing that much. But... But I feel like Stan is a little bit boring. Maybe we can bring Stan for a little bit and just Stan, Love sorry. Yes. Oh, she got mad? She got super mad? Okay, let's just bring him and see what happens. Uh, I want to go back to the Brazilian forest. And yes, it is called the Brazilian forest. Don't laugh at me. It's not Bra- ah! Oh, oh! Uh, okay. Why can't I zoom out more? Uh, what can you do? Can you just cone of cold? Perfect. Let's 
Can you... Uh, what can you do? Can you... Uh, maybe... No. Do, do whatever you were doing. It's fine. I'm just gonna... I am ready. Fireball them again. Hey, Moon Cow! <laughs> These bandits trying to rob us? Not cool. Wait, he doesn't have weapons. Wait, why does Ostean have any weapons? Why is he fighting with his fists? Is he supposed to? I feel like he's not supposed to. The bandits try to rob us. But we're robbing them instead. Oh my god, what happened to my voice? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Stan. You know, you don't have anything. What kind of... What are you? He can... He is a master at combat training. Can I see his abilities? Wait, where do I see abilities? Here. Hmm. He's a warrior too. Okay. He's a warrior and he uses two handed. Hey DPX, hi. Okay. Let's uh give him some stuff then. Heavy chain mail. Can I just click it? No, oh, I have to put it in the right s what wait, you can't wear it? Why can't you wear why can't they give you anything? The hell? Oh, now I can. Maybe it was because I was moving. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna give you some stuff. Dalish glove. Those are... Uh... Do we have a two-handed sword? I feel like we did. The great sword? Or the balanced great sword? The great sword is better than the balanced one. Is this one actually better than what you have, Alistair? Yeah. There you go. Okay. And... Do you want... This? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Hey, Bane Morton. Hi, welcome back. Like I'm using Sten instead of uh, Liliana a little bit because I felt like she wasn't doing much. But I don't know if two warriors is a good move. We'll, we'll see. Uh, we are going back to Brazilian forest. I was hanging out at camp for a bit. Um, if you don't know what happened yesterday, you should probably be happy about it. You're the supernatural guy who's survived a huge fight at Ostagar. This is a robbery. I robbed her five minutes ago. I know. <laughs> they just... You were here. Okay. Well, then that's good, I think. Wait, why am I in the West Brazilian forest? I want to go to the Delish camp. How did I end up here? This is horrible. <laughs> I want to go to the camp. I need to tell them that I lifted the werewolf curse. Because that was the only thing I did. I didn't do anything else. You got an iguanodon. That it was is done. Kind of oh. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. I'm sure he was. It will be difficult <laughs> to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Warriors. Perfect! Call and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Wonderful. How long before you're ready? It will be some time. The curse leaves the hunters slowly, and they must regain their strength before they are ready to fight. It has been a long time since the Dalish marched to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but it's called the Brazilian, isn't it? Achievement unlocked poacher. I want to see where my achievements are. I don't know. Okay, I can level up. I'm gonna just put uh, more into willpower. 
because I think it's good. I, I can choose a specialization. I don't know why. Um, and then I can choose something here. I'm going to go with more coerce. Oh, wait. I need more cunning for coerciation. So let's... Oh, I need one more. Oh, okay. Then I will go, go with combat tactics. And then now. Now this trick. What do I pick now? I want death magic. I don't know why it sounds cool. Because then you can get a death cloud. Which sounds awesome. So I think I might pick that. Someone said I should pick some healing. But... Uh, maybe healing would be good. But do you think... Can, can we be an evil healer? I feel like being a healer isn't that evil. But maybe it's okay. Hmm. I guess healing is gonna be very handy. Let's just pick a lot of healing, I guess. You don't have this specialization unlocked. Oh, so I need to find someone who teach me. I guess. Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, someone said dexterity is better than other things, but I'm just gonna max out strength for him to begin with. And then you can have some... I don't know, survival? Oh wait, here we go. Being an evil healer is fine, so you need to keep your <laughs> sleep to and keep... Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Bravery. The warrior's unwavering and courage grants bonus to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance. Okay, that's probably good. It's a passive. I think passives are good for him. Oh my god, my voice. Because All right. of reasons. A songbook? Give me that. Can you give me your quest now? Please, leave me be. I shall hunt my own wolf now that these monsters are gone. He just well, refuses to give me the now. quest. I find that rude. Oh, and here? What is this? Oh, merchant. Oh, right. I did your quest for you. I forgot. Hey, Mister. We are working hard <laughs> How are to you? make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Uh, I found some iron bark for you. Truly? Let me see. No, this is yes. the only place I've that been is indeed after iron the bark, beginning. And a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement. And I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow? Or perhaps a breastplate? A but long bow, breastplate. I think both would be more appropriate. Both? But that is an unreasonable amount of crafting to expect just for finding the wood. I will do no such thing. Uh, you wouldn't have any wood at all if not for me, remember? I'd resign myself to having none at all. And what good does it do in your hands? I am disappointed to what? see such greed. I don't believe you. You want this wood badly. I'd already resigned myself to a few years without. There are other things I can no. craft for the clan. Keep your wood and be no. gone. No! No! <laughs> I didn't get anything! We're hard to make enough equipment for all no. of the Our armaments will be superior to Sorry for being greedy! No! Garth Shiro. May the oh. creators visit fortune upon you. Co what? My actions have consequences? This is... This is... Um, this is... Uh, this is not cool. <laughs> you have returned. Is there... Any chance you have news of Denala? I killed her, but she could have been saved. Uh, no, nor was I looking. <laughs> I found her in the forest. She's dead. Dead? What happened to her? Was it as I thought? She was a werewolf, just as you suspected. So I was right. But what became of her? I killed her, naturally. Of course. You had to. Oh! She was a mindless beast, lost to me just as if she were dead. 
It's very understanding. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral, fare you well. It's very understanding that I murdered his wife. She wasn't a mindless beast, by the way. She talked. Uh, but you don't need to know about that. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Okay, so nobody will get my wood. I know. That's just bad. Okay, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Where do we go next? Where do you think we should go next? Why are you here? Hey, Cryer. Redcliffe. Me? Okay. Obviously. Redcliffe. Ostagar. Redcliffe Village. Callanhad. I guess it's Redcliffe Village. Yeah. Okay. To the Redcliffe Village. Thank you for the suggestion. I need a lot of help. Oh! My hair is falling out of my bun. I'll just make it a ponytail instead. I'm too... I'm too lazy. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all. Despite the dark spawn, pity. I also pity. have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution. With your leave. Oh, is this? The Antivan Crows send their regards. Oh, I love you. Who's this? Can he join me? Assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and the most expensive. <laughs> he sounds more evil than I do. Just get it done. The darling of Tumblr? Really? I was on Tumblr a lot. Okay, so he's gonna try to assassinate us. I'm gonna be so evil, he's gonna be impressed and be like, Oh my gosh, I want to join you. You have coin, stranger? With doors and mark closed, fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Okay. Uh, There's two things I'm here for. What's going Travel on or somewhere? Trade. Right. Understand? Okay, I wanna see your discount. What do you- do you have anything I could use? A diamond maul? Heavy dwarven helmet? Do you think that could be good for... I don't know if we should buy anything. Blue satin shoes. Painting of Rebel Queen. You didn't have anything fun. You didn't have anything fun. Ooh. This tome gives reader one point to spend on a skill. Ooh, 12 gold! No. Sorry. I'm out. Of course. 12 gold? That's too much money. Otherwise, it would have been sweet. Hmm. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Uh-oh. Let me guess. You're an idiot. <laughs> yes, that's right. I stopped you to tell you that I'm an idiot. Whew. Thank the maker you know already. Now I can stop worrying. I'll be found out. <laughs> Spit it out, then. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? Why? Are you his son? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick. Which made Kaelin my half brother, I suppose. Wow. Why you didn't? You think you you might have told me this before? You don't think you might have told me this before? How? When would I say that? Oh, by the way, King Merrick had sex with a servant, and she produced a bastard son. That's me. <laughs> I would have told you, but. It never really meant anything to me. 
I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I've never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I don't want to be too mean to him because then he's just going to leave. You still should have told me. You're right. I should have. It's brought me nothing but problems, to be honest. Aww. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care. But she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa why they're made glowing? Sure I don't the know. Home to me by that <laughs> I don't know point. why they're glowing. She despised me. Uh... I'm trying to not be too mean. You were probably luckier than most orphans. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Arl's son, though. If you're picturing that, I slept in hay out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Oh, Liliana's buff. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. The Owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Hmm. But you're an heir to the throne, right? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about Wait, that. Wait, so we accidentally have the no. king here? So we should probably it. start now, being nice on? to him. And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Uh, as you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret <laughs> this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> I like annoying him. I don't know why. I just like it. Okay. Oh, he got really mad. No. <laughs> Minus six. I'm going to turn the light down a little bit on my face. Because I felt like my eyes started to hurt a bit. Maybe this is okay. Problem is, if it is, if I put the light out, it does look good. But, oh well. Maybe I can make it a bit warmer. He's adorable when you annoy him. He is. He is. Which... I shouldn't annoy him, but I want to. It's a cool hut. Wait, can I go inside? It looks like the door could be opened. Well, it can't. Oh, here's Thomas. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road. Though I scarcely believed it. Who are you? Have you come to help us? Uh, get out of my way. I have no time for slack-jawed fools. I, I, I'm not stopping you or anything. But have you even heard what's happened here? Has anyone? Uh, is there something I should care about? Well, yes, I expect so. If you're coming into the village, you can't avoid what's happened. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the Wait, castle what? every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. What? Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Okay. Well, that sounds really bad. I thought we were just gonna go to the city and have fun, but... 
apparently not. <laughs> um, all right. Do you think if there's any companion that I should pick for this, let me know. Oh, there's a kid hurt. Kid is hurt. It's Thomas, yes? Why is he And who flashing? are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. Not the dog. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Mm, your nephew? Wait, no, I know the story. Uh, no, not all of us died. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. Yeah, maybe I should have Liliana brother. instead. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the Walking Dead. Decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. Okay. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. You want my help? You don't know me. I know Alistair, <laughs> and I trust those what he chooses to, to travel with. What do you say? First, I have questions. By all means. Why don't you just evacuate the village? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday, I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. What happens after tonight? Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. Is there a way into the castle to get at the source? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers mm. are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. I've heard enough. Then you will help us? Eh... Uh, I'm not sure. What happens if I refuse? Then I would have to kindly ask you not to get in our way. Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess we should help them, right? I know I'm being evil, but... It sounds more fun to help them than to not help them. I'm gonna let you think about it, and I'm gonna get some socks, because my feet are freezing and I don't wear socks. I have acquired socks. You think I shouldn't help them? Really? You're gonna lose a lot of gameplay and story. I think there will be plenty of options for us to be evil, even if we help them. I will help, but I might be evil. There are no dark spawn <laughs> here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Oh. Well, then leave if you don't like it. You'd save this village while countless others fall to the dark spawn. <laughs> so be it. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend Everyone with Everyone disapproves. Elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. 
Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. But Morrigan now, and Stan, you don't do understand. We're going I into a castle. In the you know how much treasures Murdoch, will be in the castle the chantry, so that we can just Eamon's take. Knights is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. <laughs> if you we may want discuss to. with them the preparations for the coming battle. I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. They're gonna be so disapprove. What? Stan disapproves minus 10, minus 5. Alistair approves. Oh no, that sucks. Okay. That sucks. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of Stan. He's. I don't. I don't need right. negative Nancys in my team. Stan minus 10. Excuse me. Get the hell out of my team. I only need yes sayers. Indeed. <laughs> I'm not gonna have anyone who says no to me. As you desire. He's the worst character in the game, but he's kinda evil, so he fits Oh a book. Read a book. I can press it looks like I could press on it, but I can't. Why haven't mother and father returned yet? Oh. They're they're gone. Hey, can you get so much minus with a supposed chaotic and evil character? I don't know, because I'm being Sorry. rude. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Oh. Good. I'll leave you to your sniveling. I'll just stay out of your way, sir. Don't mind me, Nan. <laughs> Morgan <laughs> approves? <laughs> 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 That's so funny. <laughs> okay, sorry. Please, just leave me alone. Oh. We're oh well, okay. Die. They're gonna kill <laughs> that, that, that was just that quest. That quest is now gone. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he's not evil, he's just an asshole. Isn't that the same thing? Can I go in here? Caitlin's home. Okay. I don't know who Caitlin is. But I'm going inside. My computer is so loud right now. I'm really sorry if you can hear it. When you approach the dresser, something moves inside. You hear a short surprised intake of breaths. Breath and then silence. I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna open it. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. First, tell me what you were doing in there. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. I'm a mage. I can make you tell me, you know. Uh, I don't want to be a frog. I... I'll tell you. You better. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. <laughs> what a foolish boy. Don't make me laugh. I... <laughs> I just thought... Oh. I only wanted to... <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> a new quest, a missing child. You found a boy, you returned to Chantry. You might want to check in on him to make sure you got there safely. I don't know. The wild evil personality kind of suits you. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Oh, oops. What do we have here? A chest. Of course. Well, a key required. Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's so mean. Yeah, but I, I think sometimes the game can lag. It doesn't. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter so if shall. if your computer is good. Sometimes it's just how the game is made. I think. <laughs> He's a sadistic subscriber. I feel like you fit right in here. <laughs> Caitlin is the woman you just spoke to and got a plus approval from uh, Morrigan. Oh, I didn't le learn her name because I just yelled at her. Okay, I'm gonna go and check on her. See if she got her boy back. 
Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. <laughs> I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. That is so horrible. That is such a horrible... <laughs> That is so horrible. I'll do it. I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. You are very sweet. I, I suppose there's no harm in it. Kiss her. Oh my god, this is so, this is so toxic. Don't kiss his face. Don't kiss his face. He's awful. Ew. Ew. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Stay, stay safe tonight, and good luck. to the chastened but i haven't heard from them since are you jetta i am you've heard of me i found your husband he's dead i did your husband and son are both dead i i thought that might be the case i don't know who you are i don't know what this is uh certainly make his blessings upon you huh. okay all right. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna scroll up. Uh, playing evil is cool, but you're gonna lose a lot of quest money and gear. So think about it this way. You're evil while pretending to be nice to make more money and do more evil things. I can do that sometimes, but the problem is that the rude and evil options are just too funny. Hey, um, hey Toady, you just missed something amazing. It was Good horrible. Day. I'm a horrible, toxic person. So this woman was crying, and I walked up to her, and she was like, Oh no, I'm so sorry, I'm crying so much. And I was like, Yeah, you cried way too much. Get out of my face. And then I walked, and I found, I found her little brother, and then I delivered her little brother. <laughs> First I yelled at her little brother. Or I told, I told him he made me laugh, and then he cried. And then I brought him to his older sister, and she was like, Oh my god, you found my brother, what can I do for repayment? And then I, and I said, kiss me. <laughs> and she was like, I don't know. And I was like, kiss me. And she did, and then the kid cried. <laughs> It was horrible. You found her husband and son, a couple of dead dudes in the Korkari wilds. Oh, you saw it. Okay. I just retold you anyways, in case anyone missed it. Hey, Ben. I'm sorry. This, this playthrough is going to make me go to hell. For, I, I'm going to have nightmares Boss. about myself. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. Why is it exploding? Taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Open this door or I break it down. I am. Uh, all right, just don't destroy anything, damn you. I don't know. I just want to be in here. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so, I open the door. We're a horrible group of people. I've got nothing people. of value for you. The village has taken whatever I had. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. There's no need for a beating, provided you do what I say. Hmm. What do you want exactly? Smells like a brewer in here. I've been drinking since I got up this afternoon. That makes, um, three days, maybe more. Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, <laughs> is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. 
She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village. Or what do you anyone. want from me? A kiss? <laughs> Why don't we just go around and make everyone kiss us? That would be so much fun. Uh, so you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? Bioware made a huge mistake not starting a clothing line called Bioware. Yes. Uh, are you going to save us? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm a hero. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. And what if she's dead? It would be better than going to my grave wondering. Okay, I'll do my best. Not good enough. <laughs> what? Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. Not you are good asking enough. a great deal, you wretched little man. Right? I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. True, Dr. Bain more than true. <laughs> What's stopping me from lying to you? Nothing besides your conscience. You got one of them. Uh, not really. Then you should know the value of a deal. <laughs> you want something, I want something. Okay. I'm not promising anything. Then we have nothing to talk about. Let me go back to drinking and waiting for the monsters to come. Or I could just kill you? Or we could just leave him alone. <laughs> He's just a drunk old man who wants his daughter back. Is that so terrible? <laughs> He's, Alistair is starting to get so tired with our shit. <laughs> it's quicker than the drink or the monsters. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, how about we don't? <laughs> Old man, harmless, drunk, any of these things ring a bell? He's getting so tired. Well, you heard him. He wants to die. Oh, come on. I. Alistair? Alistair, I'll kill him if I want to. Well, don't let me stop your fun. <laughs> Time for one last drink. No. Oh, this is horrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, well. Oh! Alistair disapproves minus 13. He's gonna fight me for it? Here, how about- I'm just gonna- Since Alistair disapproves as well, I'm just gonna fireball my entire team. Oh. Thank you for the stuff. Maybe that was the necessary. As you desire. Oh. Hidden trapdoor with a bundle of equipment. Oh. Uh well maybe um maybe that was unnecessary. Now that I think about it, maybe that was completely unnecessary. Why did I do that? Sorry. You guys need to stop me. Alistair hates me now. Oh, no, actually, we're still pretty good friend. We're still pretty good friend. Uh, party members' approval changes based on plot decisions or gifts. High approval provides combat bonuses and possible romance options, while low approval may lead to a party member to desert you. This is fun. This is fun. So, <laughs> Alistair, uh, Alistair disapproves of pretty much everything I do, but since I'm bribing him with like cookies and gifts, <laughs> he's still staying with me. Which to be honest, makes him the villain, not me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want some Dalish gloves? No, bad, bad idea. Okay. Awful. Don't do it. Do you want the Grave Warden uh, hand puppet? You already have it, okay. Liliana doesn't like me at all. 
I feel him though. Some cookies go a long way. Yeah. I'm just gonna get some more water and coffee. So, reminder to everyone. Go get some drinks. It's important, okay? See you in a few seconds. Hello? I don't want to be a negative Nancy, that's why I don't stop you, but I'm pulling my hair behind the PC screen. Why? Because I'm murdering people for no reason? Why? I'm gonna put my hair up again. I want it in a bun. I don't want it to be... out. I don't know why, it's more... it's the same thing, but it's more comfortable this way. <laughs> Missing so many quests, gear, and money. Okay, I'll try to be better. Okay, I'll try. I'll try to be better. I'll try to be better and not just murder people. So you're the great. Because otherwise, maybe the game will be too hard. I heard they all died with the king. Uh, let's try to be nicer. Uh, just the ones not skilled enough to save your sorry village. Oh, how nice of you to drop by and grace us with your magnificence. Sorry, I, I said I was going to Maybe later try. you could show us which end of our swords to hold. Would this be before or after we save your sorry hides? We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. You, you really Name can't. Murdoch. <laughs> Mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Have faith, good man. We will defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow... See, that was here. nice. I'm nice. Tell me you're in charge. Uh, how is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. I love his mustache. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. Wait, what can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can oh. do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. I... I... I, I killed him, so... Why does he refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since have this bad whole business news. started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. 
I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. I think you should know that he's dead. Owen is dead. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Been through a lot with his wife's death and Oops. his daughter being up in the castle. The only problem is with Owen dead, we have nobody to fix all our damaged gear. I don't suppose he had some replacements hidden away? Well, he did. He did. He did. He did have a stash. Why that tricky, stubborn mule? He knew we desperately needed replacements. He must have hidden everything before I went the first time. Well, thank you. This will certainly help, and hopefully there's enough to replace what's damaged. See, I I'll helped. send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. This may not have been, like, the uh, convenient way of going about things. But in the end, we helped. <laughs> you know? We're not only ready, Murdoch. We are going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight <laughs> this like this. This is hilarious to watch. It's very fun to play this way, too. Well, I, I still need to speak to Sir Perf. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Also, I'm not sure if this is so... Oh, I, she approves. I don't know how evil this is. I feel like this is mainly just very chaotic. <laughs> but but uh, that's okay. He said by the bridge. So I guess we go this way. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. Delighted. I am not lost, nor for that matter a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king of Ferelden. I am the son of a starstruck maid and an indiscreet man who just happened to be king. <sighs> Look, I can't be king. Some days I have trouble figuring out which boot Allow goes me. on which foot. I could do that for you. No, you can't. You're lying. You're always lying, Liliana. You can never open anything. Sorry. That was rude. What an utter relief. And don't worry about the boots. Kings don't need to dress themselves. That's what advisors are for, isn't it? Zora's log, it looks like it's been recently repaired. Uh, should I just... I'm gonna break open the lock. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm sorry. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. You're talking to a mage. Care to rephrase that? You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. Good. Names it's my favorite Pleased spell is you. Fireball. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Uh, what are you doing in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You should be out there helping defend the village. Why? When did this town ever rush to my rescue? You're a coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? Either you die out there, or you die here. Now. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But it would be very funny to just be like, too late. <laughs> but no, no, no. Okay. Good man. I, I'm gonna say good man because it's very patronizing and it works as well. A good man. Huh. Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. <laughs> it, it would have been very fun to just be like, wait, then who did you kill? I, I killed the blacksmith, which wasn't very smart, but it worked out okay in there. So I shall.
<laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? But I learned my lesson. That I shouldn't just blindly kill everyone. See, I learned. I didn't kill this guy. I learned something. Delighted. I would have died if you picked too late. I really wanted to. I really wanted to. I'm just gonna go loot the store now. Delighted. There's lamp oil in this. Wait, why was that a quest updated? Wait, which quest? Allow me. I could do that for you. You can't. Stop lying to me. All right. Sorry, I'm. I'm. I'm being a bit mean to Liliana, but she just constantly lies. Okay, what was I actually supposed to do? Caitlin's home. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Maybe this way? I'm just picking up flowers. Also, he Lando. Yes, you learn not to kill random people. This is a very important lesson and not many people know. Ask any serial killer. But I like killing the random people. But I like it. It's fun. But yeah, maybe it will make the game too hard. What does this say? No swimming? You, you can't desire. tell me what to do. You can't tell all. Okay. This place is beautiful. Oh, are these? No, that's a pile of dung. Um. Well. Maybe I need to mark the quest as... Wait. I need to talk to Sir Pef. Find a use for barrels of oil. Okay. What could I use barrels of oil for? Set innocent people on fire? I suppose. But I don't think they would like that. Maybe I'll go talk to him. Also, where is Sir Perf? Maybe he knows what to do. We're still sorting through the equipment you found in Owen's shop. It may be enough. It's hard to say. Okay. Uh, I'd like to talk about Dwin. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. Okay. I want to discuss something else. There's not much time before sundown. I need to see you speak to Sir Perf. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Okay. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Great. Stop fidgeting. Maybe he knows. These humans don't know the hilt no. of a sword from the north. The end. This way. This ought to be interesting. Killing everyone might not always be the most efficient way to play the game, but it's hilarious to watch. So I'm in approach of taking an aggressive approach, even if it harms you in the end. But well, see who's evil now. Now you're the evil one. You want me to suffer. <laughs> Which is fine. In this timeline, Loghain is right. <laughs> Who's this? Yes, what can I do for you? Nothing. Very well. Okay, that was a weird conversation. All right. I could do that. No, me. you can't. Sorry. I'm getting way too upset about her. Allow me. I can do that for you, but she can't. I need to level up her skill. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. No? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited to the okay. Grey Wardens before I took Hi. my final vow. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. I don't care. I am Sir Perth, <laughs> until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my child hey, is boob, defending the welcome. village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Call him master. Call me master. Perhaps all <laughs> is not lost. Uh, have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Enough. Assuming that would hurt them. 
Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to cut the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. I don't care what you call me. Else to ask me in the meantime? <laughs> Stab in the face. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide holy beyond your own talents. Huh? We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. I have some questions for you. Ask me whatever you wish. Tell me what happened here. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop. And I don't believe we will be enough. Okay. Tell me about the quest for the sacred urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. I'm rolling my shoulders a bit. Uh, what was the Arl secret? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. Did you try giving him was water? Cursed, and that we needed the power of Andraste herself, or he would surely perish. Was he just dehydrated? Okay. Why did Arlesa believe anyone could find the urn? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. I wonder what's the going on inside there. there. Okay, carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. I'm very curious to what's going on in there. Nah, I'm gonna go into the windmill. Is it like a dead space situation, maybe? Oh. What? There isn't like of hidden course. gold? Oh, a love letter! Sorry. Can I read it? Wait, how do I read it? Here. Well, it just says type generic. Is it in the codex? Wait, where's the codex? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, here. A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsessions. You're filthy. You're, you are filthy, a beast. Such depravity I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they may leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. Okay. That wasn't so fun. <laughs> I wanted to read the entire love letter, okay? I wonder if I can find someone whose letter it is and I can show it in their face and be like... I know you're in love. How embarrassing. I would never. I would never be in love. <laughs> is there anything up here you think? I don't think so. Oh! There is. Oh! There's a hidden crate up there. Okay, wait. We're gonna explore this area. I'm having way too much fun with this game. This game is awesome. Oh, Bella. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. What do you know about the elf in the corner? 
Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. Oh. How has business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... I feel like I recognise her... I recognise her voice. You don't care for Lloyd, I take it? I'm sorry, I can't... I don't want to be so creepy. <laughs> you don't care for Lloyd, I take it? He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. Oh. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Uh, I could talk to Lloyd about his groping you. No, no, that'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet, but I'll be fine. A pretty girl like you should be able to do better. Oh, you think I'm pretty, do you? It worked. Of course I do. Anyone would. Wink. Wait, I can't wink. Sorry. That's really sweet of you. <laughs> I'll stop. Thank you. Shouldn't you be at the chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the chantry. Are you fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's good to hear. I didn't know that. Can she be my girlfriend? Keep safe. I like her. I've talked to her for two minutes and I'm already in love. I take back everything I said about love. I'm in love. Uh, I need to kill Lloyd. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for <laughs> business. Bet you regret coming, yes? What do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom. Wait, with the right conversation softness, I could have gotten a kiss? Damn it! Makes you thirsty, don't okay. it? Okay. So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Do you think she'll kiss me if I murder her boss? Who are you, anyway? Name's Lloyd. We don't get many elves out here. You're a runaway from the city. And what if I am? Are you gonna do something about it? Hey, no, no, just asking. Doesn't bother me if you're running from something. Something else I can get for you? Answer questions. Fine, make them quick. Shouldn't you be helping the village? Why? I don't have and any romance followers I yet. How, should I have them by now? Wait it out. Am I doing What's things the point wrong? I've with all the rest of them. If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Either you... Look, you die fighting in the militia or you die right now. Your choice. But Van Tegen said we didn't have to. He said... He said... <laughs> ah, fine. Fine, I'll go. I want the stupid quest. Back. Everyone. I want the place drunk out from under me. Blasted bloody... See? Oh, I got an achievement! Bully! <laughs> I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. Will you kiss me now? I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? So how's business been? What business? <laughs> oh. I close up, but it gives the militia a place to take their minds off tonight. Me too, I suppose. I should go. Keep safe and come back any time. I won't lock up until near sundown. I failed. I failed. Okay, it's fine. I am going to talk to this creepy elf soon. Um, should I have romance someone by now? Oh, it's a pig. Uh, oh, those look tasty. You have to initiate the romance by spending the time with whoever you like in the party camp. Who do I like? Morrigan. Easy. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, she's the only one who approves of my lifestyle, so... Not looking for company. Liliana does not approve of my lifestyle. <sighs> I hear you're Bervik. What? How did you know that? Uh, 
well, that's my name. Why? You, you seem awfully nervous. Why? I... no reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. You said you were waiting for your brother? My what? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. Then why aren't you helping to fight? I was told I didn't have to. I stay in the Chantry at night, and I come here to... to be alone, that's all. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should... be friends. What? I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. What do you mean? What were you told to do? Nothing! Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Of course. Of course I can. And who's going to stop me? I... I'm not here to hurt anyone, I swear. I'll tell you what you want to know, just don't kill me. <laughs> this is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything <laughs> since this started. Those are I'm the great stuck. questions Same of as life. You, I swear. <laughs> right, Tony. Who are they? Who hired you? Tell me everything. A tall fellow. I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Can I... Is there a limit? Is it like if I choose to romance someone now, Sad? If I choose to romance someone now, and a better person comes in later, can I not romance them then? Or can I romance everyone all the time? How does it work? Tell me the rules of relationships. Uh, what are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. Okay, how do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Oh. <laughs> they... You can get into a love triangle situation if you approach it right. <laughs> I love how you say, if you approach it right, <laughs> like it's a good thing. <laughs> I love that. Okay. I love that. Okay. Can I do that? Can I get like a love sex tent? That, is that a word? No, that's not it. What is the word of a thing with many corners? Octant. I don't have all eight people, but you know what I mean? I just mean something with more a square. Can I get into a love square? Sorry. Um, octagon. <laughs> Thank you. Should I kill him? Or should I... I think I think he needs to... I'm forcing everyone to fight with me. You should, you should help defend Redcliffe tonight or not. You can get a love square. Oh. oh. All right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. If you don't die in the fight, you'll die later. I got lesser ice salve. Wow, thanks. A hexagon? I love hexagon. Thank you so much. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, delighted. Delighted. But should we go back to camp really quickly and see if we can romance someone before we maybe die in this fight? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's only four potential partners. Okay, so a love square then. How do I get back to camp? What is the way out of this place? I don't think I can get out of this place. Maybe I can't. Wait, what if I just talk I to wait them? your command. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> How did you become a shape changer? 
I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth. After a battle, you can, over okay. many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Hmm. That does sound like something you would do. Oh? I truly doubt that children would be worth the effort. They are filthy, smelly things full of tears and snot and trouble. That said, I cannot speak for the tastes of my mother. She has, after all, lived a very lengthy time in the wilds and done many things I know nothing of. Hmm. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain hey, nothing Daddy by Inferno. studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Oh, it could have been kind of fun if she turned into me. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Eh... Uh... Maybe tied to a flagpole and tickled. <laughs> what a bizarre <laughs> thing to say. But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Oh, she liked that. She She's into us. She is so into us. If someone said that to me, I'd be like, what? get out of my face. So the fact that she said that it was funny means she's into us. Okay. Uh, yeah, some of the teeth are very, very dirty. But that makes sense, I guess. Okay. Um, we needed to talk to someone like the... Here. Mother Hannah. You are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are great. They get meaty that. bonuses for liking you? Okay, so ever I need to just buy a lot of cookies. Uh, I don't need a human god's gratitude. The maker smiles on those who aid his children, regardless of their beliefs. But I do not wish to irritate you. Oh, she's actually Allow nice. Allow me to introduce myself. Why am I, I mean am to revered her? Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Uh, can you get holy protection for the knights? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can... Well, you're not praying hard enough, then. <laughs> you do not understand. Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. It's actually very nice, but uh, you should do it because I tell you, and you should do it quickly because or else. You, you dare threaten me to lie to these poor men? To tell them the Maker protects them when he does not? Very well. Though I loathe doing this, you leave me no option. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Perfect. What I'm learning from this is that uh, threats are very effective. That's the life lesson I've learned today. Threatening people is very effective. At least in video games. Okay, where is Sir Perf? 
Is he down here or is he still up there? He's still up here. Okay. Let's give him that thing. I don't know what the gifts do because I have a bunch of gifts. But once I've given them to them, they just stay in my inventory. Should I get rid of them? It helps to have an armed entourage. Yes. I think I would be able to fret an alone too, though. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Uh, you said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? She has some holy amulets. Would those do? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Oh, she's not gonna like that. I'm glad I could help. I will send some <laughs> men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Okay. Thank you. Carry as you on. Wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Morrigan approves. Liliana really disapproves. Uh oh. But I can never make them happy. I can never make them happy. <laughs> Here we go. I I guess we're ready to ready to fight. Murdoch, we're, we're ready. still sorting through the equipment you found in Owen's shop. Hey Boone, how it you doing? Maybe enough. It's hard to say. I am ready to make my stand. Oh, save. Okay, wait. I'll be back. Right. Let's hope we see morning. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. I haven't saved all the time. You know what? Let's save and let's also uh, take a bathroom break. And then we can fight the monsters. I'll be right back.
sorry, I got some, um, I got some, uh, I got some, uh, a sandwich and some juice. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Pivotling in. Uh, how was the elf and the werewolf conflict handled? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I made Zafirian kill himself, and then I killed the werewolves too, for good measures. But yeah, they were... Um, I did save. They, they weren't werewolves anymore. I don't know we're if that's important. We're still sorting through the equipment you found in <laughs> Owen's shop. It may be enough. It's hard to say. Uh, okay, I am ready to make my stand. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. I am ready. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. Off the day for a hike? Oh, or for a day hike. Sorry, I read that wrong. That's so cool, Boone. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful hike. That sounds awesome. <gasps> They're coming. Uh oh. Get to your positions! Is it zombies? Make ready! That's scary. Light the traps! Burn these foul creatures! No, don't walk in the fire. Okay. Is that all you've got? Another battle I see. Okay, here comes more of them. I want them to all come so I can do. Let's make this quick. Ah, there we go. Try to be magical. Alistair is dying because he's running into fire, but you know what? I'll just let him. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Oh, crap. Oh, Liliana already died. I'm sorry, I should have kept them from, like, moving, but... I just didn't feel like it. What is that sound? Okay, you can take a health potion, maybe. Oh, that would have been smart. Leona even has a bow. I didn't think about it. That would have been very smart. I think we're doing okay. Hey, stop, stop. Out of the fire. Wait. The monsters are attacking oh, no. from the lake. They're attacking I'm the fire. Get off the we fire, Tamlin! <laughs> get out of fire. <laughs> See you, Mista. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate you having you, having you here. I hope your stream is awesome. Knight, stay here and guard the path. Come on, we need to hurry. Okay. I'm dead. Shit. Okay, here we go. Let's wait uh, for stuff to reload. Or re, re, you know what I mean. Mm. Good job, you're on fire. <laughs> yeah. What are these horns? Sorry, I'm so slow. 
Oh, they're already fighting. I was lazy. I was eating a sandwich. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, um. I think I'm doing the opposite. I'm not sure. I feel like I might be doing the opposite. Just cone of cold, all of them. Even my friends. You're destroying the world? Maybe. I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure at this point. Take a mana potion. Fireball all of them. Delighted. One old drunk man at a time. Yes. Yay! We did it! Wait, we're still fighting though. Why? <laughs> the music stopped and we all got full health back, I think. No, it was maybe just... I don't know. Hello? Why aren't you doing anything? There you go. They're not hurting me! They're hurting your leader! I need help. Oh, Leliana died. Wait, are we actually failing? Wait, we're actually failing. I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Um, sorry about that. I don't know. Take a good mana potion. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, I messed up. I messed up a lot. Okay, oops. I may have under overestimated myself. Let's try this again. We were doing so good. Sometimes you have to do bad stuff to be able to do the right thing in the long run. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm so sorry, everyone. I was eating my sandwich. It's time, men. Oh yeah. Know that we fight for the maker. Okay, now we are here. So, Leliana, use your bow. Like Alistair, can you just, you know... Everyone, hold. Everyone, hold your positions. You're holding, right? There you go. Great. Alistair, you're just gonna have to live with being useless right now. now this is more like Again, the now, this should be amazing. <laughs> Aha, that was what to do. Okay, now you're gonna fireball all of them. Oh. Push them back! Great. I am your death. This is working better now. <laughs> it who would have thought things actually work better if you use your brain and don't just stand there? I would never have thought. Oh, and I forgot I have my healing ability, I just don't use it. 
That's not very smart. I love that Alistair is just yelling, but he's not doing anything. He's not allowed to do anything right now. the camera like this now because they because of the angle yeah, this is working much better I think I'm gonna turn the music down I like the music it's just that in combat it's so loud Yeah, I should say. Yeah, yeah, stay Come here on, and guard. Yeah, we need to hurry. I'm coming. Quick save. Let's go. Wait, don't hold. Follow me, please. <laughs> I accidentally made them hold position again. Hey, Matrix. Okay, this time we're not gonna die. It's gonna be fine. The music is still a bit loud, to be honest. There we go. That's better. Is it is a bit too intense? The unnatural are also Can I also just what happens if I just do inferno? I think Inferno works pretty well. Oh, I see. Come, let's shed some blood. Here comes trouble. You Here we go. I need Alistair to get some fire protection armor. <laughs> Since I am, you know. Just using fireball on everyone. Hey, Bitwigs! It's it's doing pretty well. We've uh, we haven't murdered any animals, which I'm I'm happy about. But we have done other uh, bad things. I can assure you. I don't know if anyone wants to give a summary of the bad things that have been done so far. But if you want to, you're very welcome. So I shall. Begin the onslaught. The Alistair needs to take a healing potion. Right, I can heal too. Can you heal Liliana? Thank you. I forget I keep forgetting that I'm a healer. It doesn't fit my character. But as someone said, I do need to keep my uh And so I shall my people alive. As you desire. All right. Of course. So they can do my bidding. Okay, I need to heal myself. And so I shall. As you desire. Okay, everyone, you need to do a better job here. Just please, everyone. Thank you. And heal Morgana. Morgana, Morgan, sorry. Another healing potion. Heal yourself. 
Be careful. Yeah, healing is pretty good. Uh, oh, Morrigan died. Shit. <laughs> Okay, I need more mana. Uh, right. Sort by type. Make this quick. You little Alistair. What to do? What to do? Heal Liliana. Okay, this was kind of hard. Heal her again. Heal is actually great. Heal is actually great. You were totally right. I need to heal myself. Heal is a game changer. She killed an old man, scared an orphan, and blackmailed his sister for a kiss in front of him, and then she yelled at a priestess. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is really good. Thank you for recommending. I can be an evil healer, right? What do you need? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Let's save it quickly. And let's level up uh, Mor Morrigan. I want to call her Morgana all the time. I don't know why. More uh, of that. I want to give you... I want to give her the best shock spells. Because why not? One tactic slot? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Okay, self. Wait. Enemy status. Enemy health. Under. Let's say over 50%. Use ability. Shock. Save it. Why not? Oh, here's a bunch of stuff. You know what? I'm just gonna take all of it. I don't know why. They all drop all of this. Okay, this could be good for selling for money, but... When surrounded by too many minis... Oh, that's very good, yeah. Okay. Morrigan. Okay. Surrounded by at least two enemies. Use ability Mind Blast. Great. Okay. No one is telling me what to do because they all died. I'm the only one left. Which, you know what, isn't too bad. Oh, Lloyd! <laughs> Lloyd is dead. Lloyd, militia, militiaman, militiaman, Murdoch. Oh, oh, that's a bit that's sad, so isn't it? That's okay. <laughs> Murdoch died. Loot all the corpses before you kill the last guy. But do you think I should have all of that stuff? Maybe I can sell it soon. So much and if I can't, we can just get rid of it. Mm, I'm just gonna check if uh, Liliana should wear some of this. Leather boots, leather armor. Leather gloves. Hmm. You fireball an inferno then and they were afraid that the undead would kill them? You know what? It happens. Where am I supposed to go? Is that a bad guy? Oh yeah, you're a bad guy. Hey, bad guy. How do you like... Fire. <laughs> Okay, it's not super good that she's doing that shock all the time. Okay. No one is telling me what to do. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. Yay! 
And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. Me. I thank you, good sir. I did this. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here <laughs> in our darkest hour. I hope we'll... D I hope we'll be discussing a reward soon, then. If need be. With if luck, need we'll be, be. That with my yes, brother. need Let be. Let us bow our Sorry. heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute <laughs> exactly, you. Exactly, Bitwigs. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. I'm not gonna say anything. With the Maker's favor, okay, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okay. Nice. I need to sell my stuff. Maybe at the store. The king will come, I hope. It's only a matter of There was a general store somewhere over here. Oh, but it was empty. Right. Oh well. Uh they might have replaced the blacksmith already. Let me check. <laughs> do you have a new Oh you do? Oh Hello? Well pardon the mess, please. I'm still doing my best to find my way around here. Oh, who are you? Oh, I took over the smithy after we found poor Owen dead. I guess he was killed last night. No one really knows. Oh, I wouldn't know Since anything he about have any that. Kin and we need a blacksmith. That's going to be me. Uh, you didn't know Owen at all, did you? He was a close and dear friend. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, this is the only thing of value I found in here. It belonged to Owen's daughter, I think. I guess you should have it. If I can get you anything, just let me know. Sorry. Again. <laughs> Let me see what you have. It isn't much, that's for sure. I haven't touched the forge in years, but I'll provide what I can. Thank you so much, by the way, everyone, for um, being here and playing this game with me. I mean, it's a very old game, but I'm having so much fun playing it. I'm surprised. I was a little bit worried when I chose the game uh, that maybe none of you would want to like sit with me and play it since it I mean since it is so old but I'm really glad that you would like to watch it because I'm I'm having so freaking much fun this is hilarious this is great I have a stick maybe I should get rid of the elf root I'm not it's not like I'm using it no I've already used for health potions I'll keep it did you ever play code or I didn't? I get updated on the main story, that is nice. Good. Okay, so I guess this far song bow is the best bow. Uh, but it costs 120 gold, so I can't afford it. That's cool. Thank you, Mr. Blacksmith. What did you give me? A faulty amulet. Oh, that's pretty good. That's better than the dead deer's horn that I'm wearing. So I'll um as you desire. That. Your shopping is all something new. <laughs> I'm glad. I I do really like evil playthroughs. They're very funny. I know I know they're not for everyone. And I do feel a bit bad, but it's worth it for how funny it is. Wait, let me make and right, I need to buy flasks. But I can make oh I guess I'll make a bunch of dog snacks even if i don't have a dog of course i really wish i wouldn't have done that to the dog hi i admit for a while i didn't think either of us would survive it's good to see you did don't i deserve a hero's welcome possibly and what kind of tip do i get out of it A tip? What about all my natural charm? Fine, I'll make an exception, but just this once. <laughs> His face! 
fine wenches now. Perhaps you intend to roll around in the nearest <laughs> pig pen as well? Anything I can get you? I should go. Good luck to you then. Thank you. <laughs> Morrigan disapproves, minus five. It's okay. Wait, I got a screenshot? Wait, where did I get a screenshot? <laughs> where are my screenshots? Can I see them? Here. Oh, oh, I have I pressed these buttons? No, oh, these came, okay. Kill the hunger dark spawn. Oh, this is cool. Wait. Which is the latest one? Huh. These are just like story things. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. It's a milestone screenshot. I didn't find it. That was amazing. <laughs> I love that. Morrigan didn't like it, but it's okay. Wait, Morrigan, I have a gift for you. I'm sure there's something you could want. Morrigan, uh, oh, uh, well, first of all, maybe I should cure your... Oh, but maybe I can go to camp. Okay. Do you think I can go to the camp now? Do you want the Alistair doll? No, you already got it. Do you want the songbook? A terrible notion. A terrible notion. A terrible notion. And you give this to me, why? Oh no, minus 50? A terrible notion. A terrible notion. A fine gift. Okay, plus six. You have my thanks. Interesting. Okay. Okay, that was awful. Shit. Okay, we need to, we definitely need to go to camp. You got minus 50. How do I get out of here? World map, that way. Okay. I would like to go to world map. I need to go to camp. I already did that sack. I already gave it to her. Yeah, I need to buy a bunch of cookies. Okay, let's go. I know this isn't what we're supposed to do right now, but I just want to go and romance someone. The kissing, uh, the kissing made me want to romance <laughs> a lot. So let's try it. The blight. How will you end it? Oh, uh, I, uh, I, we're gonna fight the arch demon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Uh, what does it, this have to do with anything? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Really? I'm not here to impress you, my dude. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. Okay. Well, at least he approved. Putting on some lipstick. Okay, let me buy some cookies. Hey, 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 hey. Bodon, do you have cookies? If there's anything I can do for you, please, please. I need, like, me. all of your cookies. I need I'm all sure of your cookies. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Thank you. Uh. Okay. Orlesian mask? Sugar cake. Do you think the thoughtful gift will work? I'll buy like five... Five thoughtful gifts. Some sugar cake. 
and no rotten onions. Wait, I can buy more shit. There we go. Uncrushable pigeon. Do you think she would like that? Okay, it gives plus 10. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going for Morrigan most because she like approves of everything I do, so I feel like it's better. Interesting. Ah. Interesting. 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 She's practically in love with me now. Interesting. Interesting. There we go. Nice. <laughs> It is cold in my tent, all alone. Uh, well, we can't have that. So you shall come to my tent? But whatever shall we do in that tiny Why is she so weird about it? While we wait for it to warm. I'm sure I'll think of something. Good. Wait, Maybe I don't know if I want to no see this. Time with foolish talk. No. No! No! No, this is awful! <laughs> no! This <is>, Okay. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to see this. Why is he wearing those? Oh, okay, is this... This is weird. Oh, uh, I don't like... I hate... I, I hate this ugly face. Oh. Okay, that was horrible. I see the stories they tell of Grey Warden endurance are not exaggerated. Oh, there are stories? <laughs> Indeed there are. <laughs> Look at them, he's like... question, of course, is whether oh, the endurance I don't... <laughs> exists because of the I hate his ugly face. Because the Grey Wardens are by nature so very healthy. I enjoy the thought that tis a little of both. Natural prowess driven by a darker side. Was this a one-time thing? That is entirely up to you. Simply know that I have no designs on your independence. I wish only to do what I desire, and if that coincides with what you desire, then so be it. And should you decide not to continue our misadventure then so be it very simple is it not can we say lewd words you can try and see how auto mod uh handle is it uh i can live with that then we should get along marvelously <laughs> Come then, let us be off before the others begin to stare. Great. Witch gone wild. Okay. What happens if I talk to all the other ones now? Will that be weird? Wait. No. Bad. Bad idea. Awful. Don't do it. Do you want the pet rock? No, bad, bad idea. Awful, don't do it. No, bad, bad idea. Okay, let me go buy some. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? Let me see your remarks. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Okay, so I just sell back the gifts because they don't use them anyways. Uh, like this. Okay, and you can also have this. And then I'm gonna buy more cookies. Worth it. Everyone's going to be my friend. <laughs> I'm bribing them with cookies and thoughtful gifts. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. 
Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Where is he? You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, <laughs> but I have something to ask you. What are you going to ask? Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. What? I thought you were gonna... You have... You have another friend? You have more friends outside of us? I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister. Oh. A half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Yep. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Okay, that's, uh, have you contacted her? No, I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her... I don't know if I could forgive myself. Okay. Her name is Goldana. And Goldana. I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. We just got a side quest. Wait. Something on your mind? Oh. What do you think Alistair puts in hair as it stands up like that? Yes. No, wait. You need more cookies. I don't want to romance Stian, okay? I'm sorry, I just don't. Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. <laughs> Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Did you always live in an alienage? Was it very terrible? Uh, sometimes. I have never been to the Denerim alienage. But My I hear that life is hard, way. and there is so much squalor. In Orle, most Alvin servants live in the homes of their masters, often in great wealth and luxury. I'd rather live free in squalor than be a slave. They are serfs. There is no slavery in Orle. Uh, it's the same thing. Elven servants are well compensated for their services, some of them live richer lives than humans. A well-trained elven servant. Why is she talking to me about elven servants? They are nimble <laughs> and dexterous, and many people find them pleasing to look at. Like a prize-winning animal? No, I did not mean it that way. Oh, my words were clumsily chosen. I did not mean to offend. I, ugh, I am sorry. I am elven, but more than that, I am a person. An evil person. Of course. Hey, Ashutosh. I am sorry. It's if going I died pretty otherwise. well. Thank you. You have given me a lot to think about. Oh, sweet. Why didn't we romance? Something I can help with? Why didn't we romance? Maybe she needs more cookies. With Alistair, I guess he's straight. Maybe she is uh, gay. Why, thank you so much. Something I can help with? What would someone like you be doing in Lofring's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? You know, a beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> You would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. 
because then oh will be I actually have to talk to them the I see okay okay um what a What I mean, what about your fruit? Is it forbidden? My fruit? Well, it is not technically forbidden, but but it's not freely given either. That was clearly the wrong not thing to say. Gets a bite. I can't believe I'm having this conversation. <clears throat> but no, I did not take vows. Oops. The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't listen to what she was saying. I didn't know what fruit she was talking about. Okay, uh, so your skills, your skills were learned before your time in the Chantry? I was a traveling minstrel in all Hey, Kelki, welcome to the shit show. I performed, <laughs> and they rewarded it's me a bit of a shit show in here. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Okay. I don't know if that worked. But maybe then I need to talk to him too. Something on your mind? I have questions. Of course. Why did you keep your birthright a secret? You never asked? Okay. Did you not trust me? I thought we were friends. We are friends. I didn't mean to... It wasn't supposed to... Oh, let me explain. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then after the battle, when I should have told you... I don't know. It seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? It's come up, Alistair. You've been avoiding it. Yes, well, I suppose part of me kind of liked you not knowing. Why? What happens when people find out? They treat me differently. I become the bastard prince to them instead of just Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate... I'm um, really well. I'm we're trying to romance everyone, <laughs> except I for Stin, because be I don't know about The very him. idea of it terrifies me. Okay. It doesn't sound stupid at all. I'm trying all to be nice. all the good it does me, my blood seems certain to haunt me no matter what I do. I guess I should be thankful that Arl Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne. If he's all right. Oh, I hope he's all right. And for what it's worth... I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. It was a dumb thing to do. Apology accepted. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go. Okay. Something on your mind? Hmm. I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me. Safer. <laughs> We're not safe. I know what you mean. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darkspawn never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. We are all entitled to a little silliness now and then. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, <gasps> talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen mostly. Sometimes. Oh. What was I that? Did you hear? And Wake to find you still watchful, and I know you're watching out for me. <laughs> it would be nice if you stayed awake for a change. <laughs> no, uh, I. You never have to feel afraid with me. What I'm trying to say is, <laughs> is that I trust so you. Mean. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our. Uh, a leader, <gasps> oh. a friend, and sometimes I think that maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. You are cute when you're embarrassed. Is that a mean thing to say? I don't know. I'm going to say it anyways. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just flushed because of the heat it's 
Someone like you being interested in me is flattering. What? Are you saying I have bad taste? Why can't I like you? You're a good person. Am I? <laughs> a great listener. Uh, a remarkable warrior. Are we really? You show signs of intelligence. And you're fairly good looking. Most of your facial features are in the right place. Wow. Thanks, you're so complimentary. You're welcome. I try. There isn't much more I can say. My feelings have been laid bare. You are very special to me. Okay, question. What happens if I like her? Will I mess things up between everyone? I want to try to... You know, I, I don't care. I'm going to try with everyone. I feel the same way and I'm glad you do too. It's a lie. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all those things. Why couldn't you have said them first? Oh, you... Oh, how very awkward. That's me. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Not a lie. <laughs> oh, chivalry is so dead. Making the lady spill her guts like that. Okay, kiss. Oh, why close your eyes? Wait, okay. Well, I um, that settles it then. Okay, what happens if I go back to Morrigan now? I want to see what happens if I'm. Will they leave me if I mess with them too much? I notice that you are spending a great deal of time with that girl, the bard. Uh oh. It's not what you think. Is it not? It seems to me that is exactly what I think. Oh, I'm not opposed to the girl. She seems... She's jealous. ...agreeable enough for the sort of man who likes that sort of thing. My point is that you and I have shared a bed together. It seems hardly fitting to have you doting upon that girl at the very same time, does it? Why not? Perhaps she could join us. Is that so? <laughs> Perhaps you should make that suggestion to Leliana. I imagine that her reception will Oops. be as chilly as mine. The crux of the matter is this. I do not share. If you wish to pursue that girl, that means you do not wish to pursue me. Tis all the same to me. I will not be where I am not valued. I simply wish to know where I stand. I want you, no question. Then you need to say that to Leliana. Sooner rather than later. Oh, and before I forget my original thought, I have something for you. You have a gift for me? What do you mean? I mean that I have a gift for you. A gift for Here's me? Here's a ring. Now before you get any foolish notions, let me Are we explain. getting married? Flemeth once gave me the ring because it allowed her to find me no matter where I went, in case I was ever captured by hunters. I disabled its power as soon as we left the wilds. Recently, however, I thought to change it. Now, I will be able to find whoever wears it instead. It's a sweet gift, thank you. It is not given out of sentimentality. I believe you were too important hey, to risk. If you were captured, this ring would allow the rest of us to find you quickly. Okay. Thank you for the gift. You are welcome. Perhaps it will be useful someday. Hmm. What happens if I go and break up with her immediately? Is that weird? I was just thinking about what happened to the elves and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death. Or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. Ah, uh, that is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings. <laughs> Interesting story about your dead mom. Thing is, we need to break up. <laughs> Wait, where? Oh, what? Cutscene. Oh. 
Oh, you're singing now? Oh no, this is gonna be a very awkward breakup. Hey, hey, Liliana, can you, can you stop for a second there? I need to tell you something. Can you, you know, just, just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> this is very awkward right now. Don't look at me like that. This is so awkward. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, oh, yikes. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> Morrigan hates it. <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> How does she do the reverb? Yeah. Stan, do you like it? Oh, he likes it, I think. I wish it was a bit louder. <laughs> All the time, he's just thinking, oh no, I'm just about to break up with you. Okay, here we go. Uh, what? Um, okay. The stars are out. Uh, that's, 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 so, can you help Alistair make dinner? Um, make supper. Some of us are actually working, not just gazing into space. Right. <laughs> yes. Of, of course I will help him. I see you're still with Morrigan. I thought you said she didn't mean anything to you. Did what I? Are you playing at? You tell me you like me, that I mean something to you, and you have her on the side? It's not fair to either Morrigan or me. Do you say the same things to her that you say to me? Not really, she's a different sort of girl. I suppose you need different girls for different days of the week. Morrigan when you want some rough tumbling, Liliana when you need a bedtime story and someone to tell you what a nice boy you are. Just show me some respect. Show us some respect, please. You're both wonderful and I respect you both. Wonderful people have their limits too. I care for you more deeply than I can say. I, I, I feel, I feel bad. I feel time. bad. Then we can't be together together because I I can't give her up. I, I see. That's your choice then. I understand. Excuse me, I have to be alone for a while. I tried... Oh, minus 24. Well, see, we just we, we just had two relationships in one night. This is perfect. I think we need to go back to fighting now. I'm gonna bring yes. both of Indeed. them. Because it's gonna be perfectly awkward. And I love it. Alright. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing we I'm guessing we can't I need to go here. I'm guessing we can't romance Alistair, right? 
Because it felt like... It, or maybe we have to do his quest first? How does that work? I want to romance Alistair too. Odd how quiet the castle looks from He's here. He's straight. Oh, okay. You would think there was nobody As inside such. at all. But For I shouldn't him. delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Uh, you don't seem very concerned about what happened here. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. Yeah, we need I answers. We need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Why do I get the feeling you're not telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot <laughs> fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? But I do not understand what you mean by this evil. Did it create the walking corpses? What is it? Something the mage unleashed. So far, it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Mm, so why must he go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. You think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. Uh, tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Okay, enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless you. This is a mistake. You're going to get yourself killed. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. Hmm. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. 
You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Why can't they you send me instead? Long. I can say I I'm Tegan. I can pretend to be you. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Hey, legit, Rob. Uh, that's it? It's all up to me? Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Good to know. Good to know. Of course you're expendable. Well, that's something, <laughs> I suppose. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. <laughs> My last words to him were, of course you're expendable. I need to, I need to give it... Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, uh, I guess we go in. Why not? Let's do it. Alright, I don't want that. Let's go inside. To the secret door. Oh, there As it is. Desire. Hey Abrax, so welcome on in everyone. Just like a fair warning, we are playing a really evil character a and I feel a little bad lake. about it. Who would build such a thing? Do you remember the Hala? Yeah, I, I, I threw away its necklace, it wasn't good no, enough. Now, what's all this? Away from me. <laughs> I love doing that. I know it's not so useful, but I love it anyways. I always feel so guilty. I feel a little bit guilty too, but it's also, it's just so much fun. Oh, is there someone Hello? in here? Is there someone out there? Who is it? That looks like my friend! By all, that's wholly you! It's you! I can't believe it! Joan? Maker's breath, how did you Holy get crap! I never thought I'd see you again of all people. Joan, what have they done to you? What they do to all traitors and would-be assassins. I wouldn't be surprised if they sent you to finish me off. I'm not gonna kill you, Joan. You need to... You're amazing. You might change your mind once you hear. I poisoned the owl. For all I know... He's dead already. Wait, you're the one who's been doing everything? I know about that, though. I, I knew about that. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the owl was a terrible <laughs> thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear. It makes so much Before sense why we're friends else, now. <laughs> I need to ask you, a you can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. It's so funny because when the game started, we were so mean to him and I was like, why are we friends? And now he's out here just poisoning random people, playing with blood magic. So, um, it makes it makes a lot of sense that we are friends. Uh, I guess, yeah, the Chantry sent her away, I don't know where. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? Mm, I just want to know how you ended up here, involved in this. I, I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. Okay. But first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the owl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. Oh. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Yeah, it's the same one, Rob. 
That is horrible. Why did the Arlesa hire you to tutor her son? Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor secretly. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. Mm. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. You didn't disappoint me, Joan. You impressed me. That's, that's good to hear you say that. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. You can teach me how to become a... But it doesn't... I, I want him to teach me to become a blood mage. Sorry. This doesn't explain everything that happened. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of mage I would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Hmm. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened? I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Hmm. And Arla Emon had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Hmm. How much magic did it teach Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was... humiliating. Be careful and make good decisions, and by the end of this questline you will be a blood mage. I won't do that. I don't want to play... I don't want to play it... Um, what do you call it? I think it's more fun to just play without knowing what's gonna happen, just the way I would play it. Uh, I, I always think it's more boring when you, like for example, if you go and if you free Joan, you get like a powerful gun. It's more fun to just play it and see what happens and if I don't become a blood mage, it's fine by me. I just want to play it more like what makes sense to my horrible character. <laughs> the Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. Everyone makes mistakes. Mistakes like mine? I've just messed everything up my entire life. I've made such bad decisions. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I helped you once in the name of friendship and you lied to me. And I betrayed you. Yeah. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say this boy could still be of use to I us. I think so too. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves <laughs> a <chance to laughs> they, No one likes each other. Sense. This man, no less than any. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? 
And what then? Then uh, you come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger what? exactly. Help, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Good. He wants me to let him out, but he doesn't want to help me? That's so rude. He at least needs to help me. Where did he go? He just ran away? Okay, rude. I got a skill. Oh, Liliana got a skill? She got a plot? I don't know. But yeah, I think... I think... I think it's less fun if you know. Like I do really we're gonna want to become a uh I do really wanna become a blood mage, but I don't think it's worth like messing up the fun of the game for it. Of course. Do we have anyone else in here I can let out? If that makes sense. Delighted. Delighted. I don't like it when he says that. It gives me the ick. Joanne, besides being a liar and a blood mage, is also scared of everything. True. A note. A rolled up note. I hope whoever finds this can read this. I hate the thought that my last words might be used as a kindling uh, or maker forbid to wipe someone's bum. But that happens stands for you, I suppose. My name is Brandon. I was born in Rainsphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand, I bowed to their emperor. I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards, to my house too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually. Houses fall, but my honor can only be lost if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here and I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and re built my home, gone on with my life, so no nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and they won't be the one to trade our family honors for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to the rain sphere. There's no living remnant of us left um, there, but you'll only you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth, we're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you they'll hear. It was very sad. Oh crap. Scared me. Make a preserver. I love just fireballing everything. Should probably zoom out. Let's make this quick. Begin the onslaught. Ah, wonderful! Great. Delighted. Being scared is the root of more shall. evil of of most evil. Are you saying that Tamlin is scared? Are you saying he's scared? Maybe he is. What do you think he's scared of? Because he's so evil. What do you think he's scared of? Hmm. Maybe he's scared of someone getting close and seeing who he really is, which is actually a nice person. And so I shall. Oh, okay. That's bad. That went pretty well. Evil people are often scared of losing power. Yeah, maybe he's scared of losing power somehow. Makes sense. What power? I mean, he is pretty powerful. Hmm. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'll try to make somewhat good choices. I'll try to not be evil just for the sake of being evil, no, no. but it's What's not easy. Hello? And so I shall. All right. Ooh. It is done. Yay! 
Liliana leveled up. Okay, what should I uh, what should I give Liliana for uh, to make her better? She's a bard. Meet more decks, I guess. Decks are cunning. Let's do it like that then. Oh, more locks. Okay, yeah, the cunning for more locks. I want more locks. That is important to me. More stealing. Yes. Locks. Yes. Nice. Okay, everyone, my brother is calling. I'm just gonna take a tiny break and just uh, see what he wants, and then I'll be right back. So, mini break incoming. Okay, I am back. Are you ready to do more evil stuff? Be more evil, do more horrible things? Welcome back, thank you. I don't know why I read that. <laughs> Allow me, I could do that for you. Can she do it? She can do it! Yes, finally she can do stuff. Oh, mall. I'll take it. A weapon stand? Should I take everything? No. I don't think I should take everything. Dagger. Nah. Chainmail boots. 
armor stand. I think he can have that. No, it's not better. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of weapons here. Ooh, fire arrow. But I can't use all of them. Okay, let's continue. Looting everything and backtracking several times every trip to sell stuff is the only way to buy the best stuff. Oh, okay. I'll pick everything up. Um, I don't want to backtrack so many times, but... Okay. I'll keep what I can. I keep what I can keep. I'll, yeah. Ooh, apples. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Great. Good job. There is a legendary money glitch. Yeah, someone told me about it As yesterday. I don't think I... I don't know if I want to do it. It feels a little bit like cheating. Maybe on a second playthrough. Oh! No! No! What do I do? No, no, no! No! Do I have to? I don't want to. Run away. Oh. I think I That's have to. Right there. Right ahead. This sucks. This sucks. Oh, wait. Did I die? No. I died. Let's have at it. I deserved it. I shall do it. Make a preserve. It's a lot of noise. It's your time to die! Come and get it! Okay. This is not going super well. Okay. This fight on normal difficulty is insanely hard. Oh, this is... Wait! I didn't change the difficulty back! <laughs> I never changed the difficulty back. Yesterday we changed to easy uh, because we were messing up so many times. Should I change it back to normal or should we just keep being on easy? I don't mind being on easy to be honest. Hmm. Keep being on easy. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Put these ones and move on. <laughs> It's embarrassing. Maybe my second playthrough can be on harder difficulty. Easy is like normal in this game and normal is hard. It was it was very hard. Thank you for saying that. Well done, I say. Well done. Okay. Well then then let's uh, let's uh, let's be on easy. There's no there's no shame in playing games on easy mode. It's fine. Okay, here we go. I'm so sorry, puppies. And so I shall. All right. And so I shall. I hope you like Inferno. It's oh. your time to die. Oh, I got in interrupted. Okay, that's rude. I tried to be merciful. I died. An order. Shit. Okay, it is very hard. You fold your hand. Wipe them out. Come and get it. As you wish. Hmm. 
Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, a lot of reloads and stuff too. You're All right. right. Oh, I feel so bad. And so I, I killed shall. more dogs. Oh, what are these? War paint. Oh, oh, it's for the dog. I'll take it anyways. I know I can't use it. As you desire. I'm still taking it. It's too sad. I'm gonna quick save. Oh yeah, they wanted the weird. Why do I have? I should get rid of those. That's filling up my inventory. Right ahead. He's berserking. Push them back. All right. Woo! We leveled up. Nice. I don't know why I'm taking all the elf fruit and stuff. I'm just picking things up. Okay, level up. What do we want now? We want more magic, I think. Why? I just feel like more mag... Or is it bad to keep, keep this much magic? What should I pick? Help me out. Is it bad to keep leveling magic because we're kind of leveled up? Or how does it work? I could do more cunning as well. Didn't I want one more cunning so I could get something? I don't remember. Sack probably knows best. I like that Automod caught you because you wrote Sack. <laughs> that is funny. I'm sorry. Hmm. I think I think I'll just put some into I, I think I'll do that for now that sounds that makes sense to me and then I'm gonna do more heal because the healing is very nice that works okay cool oh this is a trap no Alistair oh crap yes of course oh sorry Wait, they can't trip the trap, but I can trip the trap. Oh, don't bother with anything but the first healing spell. Oh, too late. Oh, well. That's it. Oops, I only froze Lilian. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh! Okay. You killed you killed my main character because you walked into the trap. Right. Let's grab some right. Good job. Mm -hmm. That wasn't great, but it's fine. Delighted. Of course. Wait, am I hurt? Oh, I'm very hurt. I need I need a lot more of those Something injury things. Injury kits. What is in here? No. Oh. Ah, nice. Lesser injury kit. Perfect. Use it. Use it right away. Oh. Hello. Stupid girl, get out of my way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hit me. My my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she? Right. Oh. What happened to everyone? Oh, she's the blacksmith's daughter. Wait, Valena the smith's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Perhaps you should stay here for now. I'll find my way. I can run what? fast and I know the castle. Thank you. That's not what I s Okay. Oh well. No, you do you do you okay, you, yeah, that's fine. As you desire. Oh, there's a lot of them in here, but it's okay. Of course. Inferno! Yeah! Run while you can! Fire! 
fire. Everything is on fire. Okay. Uh, you know what? You're just getting only strength. Precise striking. The warrior tries to make each account attack, sacrificing attack speed for bonus to attack. Oh. Weapons and shield. Shield wall. Okay. Sure. Sure. Does this hurt me? <laughs> uh, oh, is this cheese? Oh, it's ham. That's also tasty. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I know I just ate a sandwich, but still. Of course. No, this is taking me to the cellar. Wait, this is where I came from. Wait, I've, I have I been, I'm confused. Wait, I need to look at the map. Second floor. Okay, that's where I want to go. Oh, but I can't get in here. Wait, can you? It's done. Is it? Of course. You lied. Oh, cellar is the right way. Oh, okay, thank you. I thought it wasn't. Oh no, we came from a secret tunnel. There's a difference. All right. Oh, okay. And so I shall. Allow me. I could do that for you. There's not that much good things in the chests. Pile of As junk. No, thank you. Life lesson. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go deeper to get up again. And so I shall. True. Oh, another love letter. Yay. I love the love letters. My darling Reginald, I burn for you, and because of you, I please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. What tincture? I don't get it. Oh, we are outside. Uh oh. Oh, they're coming from all directions. All right. Oh, I got interrupted? How rude. This. Oh, that guy is big. He deserves to get Inferno. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, this is going really bad. Make a preserve us. Oh crap. Uh Oh. Oh. Um Uh oh. Okay, this is really bad. Mm. Okay. I think let's go let's all wait everyone go together go together up here run 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 up to the archers why i don't know i just i'm not a master tactician i just i just felt like that maybe would be a good idea who knows Okay, heal Alistair. And so I shall. Can you frost everyone here? Great. Take that. It's a good day. Oh, we did it. Wait, now it was really easy. Huh. Okay, odd. Huh. 
Oh well. As you desire. I'll save then. First it was really hard and now it was Delighted. pretty easy. It's odd. Oh right, I need to let them in. <laughs> oh, I could have done that in the fight. Oh, I didn't need your help. <laughs> I didn't need you anyways. <laughs> you have opened the gate. Did he just walk in? It's like my men and I are eager to see our island. <laughs> Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Okay. Is it bad if I? Yeah, let's go. Let's go together. Excellent. Let us go now then. I kind of wanted to go alone. I don't know why. But I think this is fine. Uh. Hello. What is happening? So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The <laughs> ones I sent to reclaim this my This is village. a really scary yes. kid. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chew for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I send it to the kennels, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. M Mother? What's happening? Where am I? I like his oh, eyeshadow. The maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. <laughs> you are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? <laughs> oh, Warden. Please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. So he is the evil you spoke of? No! Don't say that! So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. I like this kid. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you What is going on? Didn't I? <laughs> yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? <laughs> Me? No reason. I think I'll just leave. No, uh, what? I, I need to see Arl Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement <laughs> and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now he'll repay me. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, Ban Tegan, but you go you're gonna you you're gonna have to die. I'm really sorry, but there's like nothing else I can do. <laughs> 
I wonder if I could have saved him somehow. He did say himself though. He was like, I am extendo. Oh! Oh, he's still alive. You are right. Oh. I am the inferno spell. I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you I'm sorry about the fire. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm not about to kill a child. Uh, you knew about this all along. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because hey, I knew you could bro. help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady. But Connor has become an abomination. Oh, hey, Joanne. He's no longer your son. You! <laughs> you did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? <laughs> this is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Hey, look. Okay, Joan has made some bad decision. Alright. Maybe he killed some people. Maybe he did some blood magic. Maybe he poisoned some people. But who haven't, okay? <laughs> He's no more to blame than you are, Lady Isolde. How dare you! <laughs> I'm sorry. If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. Yeah. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... <laughs> Joan, uh, what can you add to this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is... The easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. Oh. Blood magic uses the life force of others as raw mana. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's the a weird answer. Know, it requires life energy. A lot of it. All of it, in fact. So... Someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. I think we should yes. sacrifice the mom. And then mom. we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Look. Someone's going to die either way. Indeed. Either my son or the sacrifice. Let it be me then. I will give my life for his... What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Okay, Lovely perfect. Magic. How can more evil Why is she ready to here? fight? Two wrongs don't make a right. Liliana, it does seem relax. Like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who would be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Oh, I wonder how this would work if, if we weren't a mage. Because now we can do it because we are mages. Um. Okay, then I know what we must do. My son awaits your decision. 
Make it quickly. We let Joanne cast a ritual. That's what I want to do. Oh, Morrigan will go. Okay. Thank you. If this will save my son, but what if I don't bring afraid. Morrigan on this mission? Then who will go into the Fade? Will it be you? <laughs> Morrigan can do it? No, I want to go. I want to go. I, I mean, it would be fun to just be Morrigan to you do it. But I, I want to go to the Fade. It's cool. I want to go. You have my eternal gratitude. May the maker go. Oh, thank you, Spaghetti. Then let's let's get this started. I'm fine with her dying. I get to go to the fade. Maybe make some demon, sweet demon deals. Oh, okay. So there, there's no way you can lose out on it. Oh, look at the blood magic. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. I need this. Does it hurt? Okay, I think it hurts. Oh, Joan! You hurt me too! I thought we were friends. Leliana disapproves. I could tell. She was like ready to fight. Oh, you've never seen this choice before. Interesting. Is anyone out there? Hello? Hmm. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Oh. Curse this blasted darkness! You there. Have you seen my son? I can, I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Are you truly Arl Eamon, or are you a demon? I am indeed the Arl of Redcliffe. Why would you ask me such a thing? Connor calls for me, and I run to find him, yet... Always he eludes me. Where is Isold? Why am I here? When Connor tried helping you, a demon possessed him. What? Possessed? Then we must help him. Is that why you're here? Yeah, I'm here to help Connor. You must trust me. You? I do trust you. We must help my son. But I Isn't it good if this guy dies? Because then Al Alistair can be Connor. king, Please, and then I and then you. I am friend best friends with the with the king. That would be nice. What did you say? Sorry. Okay, I sorry. Do whatever I can for you. Please, just help my son. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Oh. Uh. I'm just thinking it would be nice to be best friends with the king. Hey, Connor. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. Uh, are you really Connor or are you a demon? You could be a demon too. You could be a demon that just looks like a person. And you could be the guardian of this realm meant to confuse me. Fool, you won't get near. Oh, I won't it was. Oh, I. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Wow, okay. Oh, that's demon, I guess. Oh. Oh, we're fighting right. immediately? Okay. Right. Well, uh, how do you like a fireball? <laughs> that was surprisingly easy. Okay. Huh. All right. Mm hmm I don't think I did it. <laughs> you! You're the one making father sick! No, not Connor? me. Is that you? Hey, Connor. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Mm, what is your purpose here? Is Connor truly among you? And if I work on him, what would you say to him? Uh, that I seek the demon controlling him? You will not find what you seek. 
Turn back now! Obvi obviously, you fear I will indeed find what I seek. Trespasser! I will drive you out! You can try. Oh. It's not very strong. I'll help him! You can't stop me! Am I dead? Am I dreaming? I don't understand any of this! Someone help me! This doesn't seem very nice. Wait, how do I get to the door up there? I need to get to the portal. Get out of here! You have to get out! Hey, maybe I just go through here again. Don't yell at me. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a bit like in, in, in Skyrim. When you go to that Father wants seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? <sighs> I mean, perhaps it doesn't have to end? Hmm. No, I do not believe you. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Hey, can you... Oh! Oh no! The game crashed! Oh crap! Oh, that sucks! Oh, and I haven't saved in a bit. Oh... That's not so good. Uh-oh. Okay. Yikes. Let's see if uh, what happened. Oh. Um, okay, we're fine. Good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. It saved not that long ago. I think. Yeah, we we need to talk to him again. That's fine. You there? Have you seen my son? I can, I can hear him. Sorry about that, I everyone. I don't know why it crashed. Remind me to save, like, all the time. Uh, how can you not find your son? He's everywhere here. What? You've seen him? Where is he? Connor calls for me, and I run to find him, yet... Always he eludes me. Where is Isold? Why am I here? Uh, when Connor tried helping you, a demon possessed him. What? Possessed? Then... We hey, must no, help it's okay. The game just crashed, but otherwise it's fine. Uh, it's your help I need. I don't care about your son. No, it's Connor who needs help. I must find him. Something's happened to him. Okay. Right. Who exists in the sight of the maker? Well, then we get to see the cool demon again. I don't mind that. We're fighting a cool demon. Who has a little boy's buddy, but body. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. Uh, no, I didn't make your father sick. How do I know that? You could be a liar. You could be a demon. Let us talk calmly and figure this out. No, you're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. <laughs> here we go. Demon again. Okay. It's kind of weak, but that's okay. Okay, quick save. Here we go. Let's continue. All right. Now we talk to Connor again. I don't know you, what to say to make him calm you're down. The one making father sick. Hey. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? <sighs> Be gone, demon, and impede me no further. You will not find what you seek. Turn back now. I will not. Give me what I want. Trespasser! I will drive you out! Okay. Use your anger. Oh. Ah. 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 
killed her again. And I'm now we're gonna do it. You can't stop me. Third time. Get out of here! You have to get out. Delighted. Wait. Don't say delighted. Just go for the portal. Okay, here we have Connor again. Father wonders. Or not Connor. Trapped within my web. This sounds a Always lot like a demon. Why must you interfere? Uh, because you interfere where you should not, demon. Connor invited her to come, and they struck a bargain. She has every right to do as she wishes. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Okay. <laughs> Great. Huh, wonderful. Yeah, maybe the demon should be on our side. But the, I, I think the demons, like, were different kind of evil. Oh, what do we have here? La Luring of... Very oh. well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. Oh wow, that's and yet I have TOS. No wish to Stop that. Your power. <laughs> you be I don't think you're allowed to, to do that. Mine. Perhaps we should converse instead. Mm, I'm willing to talk. Ah, good. I prefer reasonable negotiation whenever possible. Your goal is for me to release the boy's soul. Is that right? Mm, actually, I just need a dad. I don't care for the boy. The boy is useless to me without the father. I release one. I release both. Okay. What if you could persuade me to leave voluntarily? No fuss, no bloodshed. Uh, that sounds good. And why would you do that? So you will at least consider it? Let me make a proposition then. I abandon the boy. For now. But I retain the contract he and I made. And many years from now, I may return and claim what is mine. Hmm. This will be long after whatever you want is done. In exchange, I will provide something of value. Who you? Something you desire. I mean, that sounds like a great deal. What say you? Mm, what would you give me exactly? I offer much. Power. Knowledge. Pleasure. What is it you desire? I'll take pleasure, demon. Show me what you got. <laughs> should I pick that? Or should I pick RK? Oh, blood magic. No, I want the blood magic. I want the blood magic. But <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Show me what you got. Uh, I'm gonna pick. I'm just gonna pick. Could I get the RK? I want, I want blood magic. I want, please, can you give me the blood magic? But this is so much more fun. No, get the blood. I'll, I'll regret it. Give, please give me the blood magic. It's more evil. Then it is a deal. You'll have what you desire. And I'll leave as if destroyed. For now. I wish you luck, dear creature. You shall certainly need I mean, this was perfect. Everyone won, right? Win, win, win. <laughs> Except for the mom, she died. Pleasure is temporary evil. Magic is forever. That's true. <laughs> 
Yeah, what if you just started singing the Rick and Morty song? That would have been not so pleasurable. Oh! Oh, the, oh these are dead bodies. I see. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, at least no one w more will die for a while. Then the demon will come back and things will be really bad. Uh, but that's okay. Chill day at the beach. No, shut up. <laughs> oh. So it is over. Yeah. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Should Eamon recover? I'm not sure how I will tell him of all this. Isolde is dead, yet her sacrifice saved their son. There is still the matter of Jowan. He performed the ritual and did not deceive us. In a way, he saved Connor's life even though he killed Isolde. I am unsure what to make of this. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Mm. I feel like I'm done with Joan, but I would kind of like him released. He's my best friend. Can I get Joan released, please? He's my friend. Released? This mage is a Malefica. Even if I ignore his crimes, I cannot simply unleash him on the but land. But we're BFFs. Why not? It's not your problem. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. Okay, I'll our go get him. Our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. As odd as it may seem, the quest Isolde sent the knights on may be our only hope. We must find the urn of sacred ashes. Mm. Isn't there some other way to heal him, like magic? It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, oh. the relic is that? another option. Firework. Eamon funded the research of a Denerim scholar, a brother Genetivi. He has been trying to decipher the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, Isolde sent her knights to Genetivi in the hopes that he had finally discovered the location of Andraste's final resting place. They were unable to find him. In desperation, Isolde sent others in search of the brother or some clue of the urn's location. Okay. I mean... What do I get if I find the urn? I have nothing to give you, except if we are fortunate, my brother and the armies he can muster. Oh. But for that, we need the urn. If you wish more, speak with him once he is revived. Alright, I'll see what I can do. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. All right. Cool. Um, what if I just kill him? Can't. What if I just... It didn't work. All right. We tried. I guess we have to get the urn then, because we need his help against the dark spawn. I should save. Wait, can I be a blood mage now? I think I need to wait until I level up, right? Sten slaughtered his whole family. Yeah, didn't you say that yesterday? It was that to someone else? <laughs> someone said that before. Hey, Connor, are you okay? You. You're the one who saved me. <laughs> yeah, I did. You better remember that. I will. I'll remember. I wish Mother were here. Nobody will tell me how she died. They say I'll find out when I'm older. It's probably good. Uh, give me that book. Blood mages suck. I mean, I want to be one. Just for... Because it's horrible. 
Now you're free to start any new quest line. Can, uh, can I make a suggestion? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, well, I can do whatever I want. Let me find out. Maybe, uh, maybe it won't suck for me. Maybe for me it will be good. The Mage Tower. Okay. Then we'll do that. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, nice picture. I've, I've since even ever since we um picked. Uh, I could do that for you. Ever since I picked class, I was like, I want to be a blood mage. I'll do it. Because it feels like the like the most evil choice. If I'm a skeleton wants to make... As you desire. Yeah, I think so. I want to go to the basement. A dragonstone statuette. Oh, cool. I mean, it might be awesome for me. You don't know that. For me, it might be super awesome. How do I get... I guess I need to go to main floor first. I forgot we're on the second floor. So we do need to go down either way. Main floor. Hmm. And now that we're on the main floor, I want to go to the dungeon, which is all the way over here. Oh, hello everyone. It is good you resolve this. I'm gonna lose your business. Now we must either revive the Arl or allow Van Tegan to take his place. Nice picture. It's this way, I think. No, damn it. This way. I want to set my best friend free. And then we can be BBFF. Blood Mage's best friends forever. It's gonna be great. Hey, Joan, are you still? <laughs> Did they put you down here in the game? Uh, yeah, but King Jijo, you don't need to tell me. Like, I'll figure it out. I understand you're just trying to be helpful, but I don't need that kind of help. I just wanna, I just wanna play what seems fun. You know, it's I'm playing Dragon Age Origins on easy. I'm not trying to like min max or something. I just wanna play what's fun and make the most evil character possible. They're keeping me here until the Arl revives. If he revives. I suppose that's better than nothing. Oh, I can't get you They're out. They're keeping me here until the Arl revives. Oh. If he revives. Okay, see you later, Joan. I'll rescue you sometime. I guess. I don't know why I sneaked out the back way. Seemed like a good idea. Alright. Oh, I want to see what happened to the <laughs> to the daughter of the blacksmith. She's going to be weird. She's coming home and there's another blacksmith there. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, if it do it really does suck, I guess I'll find it out by myself, but I think it's going to be fun. Oh, <laughs> hi. So many people died here, including my father. I thought it was only happening in the castle. I'm glad I'm alive, but I suppose there's no point staying here any longer, is there? I have an aunt in Kalani I can stay with, I hope. Thank you ever so much for saving my life. I'll never forget you. Okay. So many people died. I'm glad. Something All right. I can get for you. It isn't much, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, I totally helped and saved you and everything. Red cliff shield. Uh, don't need all those daggers. Hmm. Oh, the war paint. I don't need it. Okay. 
great. Well, we finished a quest. <laughs> uh, great. Only to discover her. Valeria escaped to the village safely, only to escape, to escape, discover her father Owen dead. With nothing to give her, she has seek a family in another part of Ferelden. Great. So now we have the urn. We have Alistair's family. We have some stuff left in the Brazilian forest, which I forgot. Oh, oh, to get. To get the arcane warrior, I had to do that. All right, fine. I'll skip it. Uh, the Earl of Redcliffe. Paragon of Arcane Broken Circle. Right. Okay. Nice. And we didn't kill anyone. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Don't better with a Brazilian forest quest. You will get several others before you can return. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah, and I don't think... Even if Arcane Warrior probably is really good... I don't think I want it, because that means I have to make a good choice, and I don't want to make a good choice. I want to be evil. I think you can choose a specialization now, but I don't know how. I, th I think it's fine. I think actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it here for today. I've already played for four hours. It's a long time for playing this game. So I think I'm gonna end it here and take a little break um, before, before we jump on to the next uh what am i saying i'm gonna take a break before i start making dinner what am i saying level 7 and level 14 is when you can choose specializations all right yeah i didn't